My cat accidentally scratched me. Are we live? Yes. Okay, looks good so far. Hello, viewers. Let's make sure everyone can hear okay. Ooh, we have 10 people watching. Hello. That's great. Ahoy there, viewers. <laughs> Hopefully, if the audio is poopy, people in the chat will say something. Sounds poopy. No. <laughs> uh, are, you, are you talking, Patrick? I can't hear you. Can you not? That was Alex in the distance. You can't hear me talking? I can hear you. This is my familiar. Eight my familiar ate all of my snacks. Pepper, how dare you? <laughs> oh. huh. I guess we have some technical difficulties here. Hang on, everyone. I, I forgot my magician's robes. Thank <gasps> you, Eric, for letting me know that you can hear me. Can you hear the other people when they talk? Hi, Eric. Eric. Hello. What's up? Eric, tell me how you're doing. <laughs> yeah, for some reason my headphones were working earlier, but then they stopped, so I just switched it to my speakers. But Can you, you can hear me There's now, no though. feedback or anything. Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. All right, I guess we're good. That's great. Fantastic. Check one. Check, check. All right. Anyway. I got a little, one more snare in my headphone. Oh, do you need a minute, Alex? No, I'm just good. I'm just good. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, greetings and salutations, friends. Welcome to Player's Sketchbook. Uh, Role-playing game where you get to watch pro artists doodle their exciting adventures as they happen. So settle in for a tale of heroism and peril while you feast your eyes on the magic these magnificent creators conjure. Now let's go around and meet our artists. Hi everyone, my name is Victoria Ying. I am an artist and illustrator. Uh, my most recent book is City of Secrets, out in stores everywhere. And I, uh, yeah, and I'm, today I'm going to be playing um, Cavdash, who is a half orc druid. And hello, I'm Kathleen McAllister. Um, I work in digital development uh, for Netflix animation. Uh, and I'm also working on kind of a Witch Academy book at some point, very on brand here. Uh, and I'm playing a half elf monk today. I haven't named myself yet, so maybe oh, that's something man. I'll come up with on the way. But what will we call you? Gotta come up with a new name. Hmm. Am I next? Oh, either. Oh. Okay. Uh, hi, I'm Linda. I'm a art director and biz dev artist for DreamWorks. Um, I am a wood elf, and I haven't named myself either, but I think I'm just going to call it Linders, because it's close to my name, but it's funnier. <laughs> Linders, nice. I like that. Kind of Hi, everyone. I'm Alex Konstad. I'm an art director at Netflix and a, a, a content creator, I guess you could say. Just finished my uh, Obscura book, which wrapped on Kickstarter. Um, happy to be here. I'm playing a dwarf wizard named Sven Magnuson. 
Fan the Black Mage. Excellent. And I'm stoked to play this game. Great, great. Uh, Victoria, what was your half orc druid's name? Cab Dash. Cab Dash? With a V, Cab. K A V D A S H. Cab Dash. All right. And Kathleen, when you remember, when your character remembers their name, let me right. know. <laughs> it's been a long night. I really like um, fantasy name generators because Ooh, uh, yeah, I handy. use them all the time in my writing. Let me go look up a. I once had somebody ask me, like, how do you come up with all the names in your books? And the answer was, um, I generate them online with you know, names. It's, it's really hard to come up with names. I always feel creepy if I pick someone like that I know, and I'm like, oh no, I know someone with that name. It's I just awkward. took my family's Norwegian and Danish names. <laughs> All right. Oh, and I'm uh, the DM. I'm Patrick Lafoon, and I'll be Hello, Patrick creating some adventures here. For these good folks. So let's roll. Let's see what we. Let's see what kind of fun we get into here. All right, so some quick backstory for all of you. You're all novice adventurers looking to see the world, find some action, and earn piles of gold. What luck that you found a job the moment you stepped out the door. One way or another, you've all stumbled into the gig economy and have signed on to do some mercenary work in the dangerous Dragon Spine Mountains. Days later, you've arrived at your post a crystal mine that's been dug right into the lower slope of a towering peak with snow-covered tips. Thick trees surround the mining camp, and the chirping of birds almost drowns out the chatter of frustrated miners. All manner of kin appear to work this mine, but it's clear that the company is managed by a few grisly dwarves. You each reach into your pockets and pull out a small scroll with your instructions. It reads, Welcome to the Heroes Guild of Heroes, Incorporated. We know there are a lot of adventuring guilds out there, but we're thrilled you've chosen to work with us. Please report to the Blackstone Mining Camp located in the Dragon Spine Mountains and speak to the foreman, Ingvar Bolden. Perform whatever job he asks, within reason, and you'll be handsomely rewarded. And consider signing up for our newsletter delivered by Carrier Pigeon. Dot, dot, dot. The scroll goes on, begging you to sign up for various special offers you're sure are not so special. You put the scroll away and notice you're standing next to a few other travelers who look just as lost as you. Your co workers, you presume. Perhaps you should introduce yourself. Well, hey there. It seems like you also have a scroll with instructions are you also here to adventure and seek greatness oh, i've been stuck here forever but i'm just here to make some coin i'm only here to make money my parents won't pay my bills anymore um <laughs> so here i am I don't. I forgot my name. It's been a long. It's been a long time. It's been a long day. She must have hit her head. Can someone help her? <laughs> I mean, we'll have to call you something, right? Uh, feel free to come up with a nickname. Maybe um, rock related. Let's see. I gypsum is a good rock. Well, we shall Amethyst. call her gypsum. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, gypsum. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> I hope we figure out what happened to you, so perhaps your memory can be returned. <laughs> Must be very troubling to not remember your own name. Yeah, I think I got hit by a rock or something. <laughs> <laughs> I love to throw rocks. <laughs> Should we band together as there is power in numbers? Well, let's smart. see what the what job that we have to perform, perhaps. It may be advantageous. Before long, your group has caught the eye of one of the dwarves running the mining camp. He's bald and lacking the traditional beard, but he makes up for it with his mighty blonde mutton chops. With a wave, he greets the group. Hello there! You must be from the guild! Indeed, indeed. We were told to come see you for an assignment. Ah, 
Very nice. I'm Rockfoot Bolden, but my friends call me Cramble. Must be because you, you have no beard. <laughs> it's a condition. <laughs> very but well. you have very fancy mutton chops. Ah, which, thank you. Oh, make up for it. Right, well, uh, pleasure to meet you all. Let me take you to meet my brother Ingvar. As you follow Crumble, you all notice there's not a lot of work going on. The mining camp currently looks more like a whining camp, with workers looking for ways to pass the time. Some chat, others sleep, and a few play a curious game where they throw rocks at other rocks. We've had a bit of trouble in the mine as of late. As you can see, our digging's been halted. Haven't pulled a gem out in damn near three days. What's been the problem? Well, there have been rumblings that the cave is haunted. Tommy knockers, they say. Don't know how much I believe in that sort of thing, but we're missing crew and we can't afford to lose any more. Another miner strike will bury the Blackstone mine for good. I didn't sign up for spooky creatures. Is there uh, any way to mine without danger? Well, we have to take precautions. We have to make sure whatever's in there isn't causing any more problems. So, uh, let me show you to the boss and he'll fill you in. The group arrives at a dumpy tent that smells like sweat and beer. Crumble calls inside and out comes Ingvar, the Blackstone mining uh, foreman, sipping a mug of beer. He's stout, dirty, and shirtless, with a big bushy beard as red as his jolly nose, and he wears a fancy cap atop his unkempt hair as an attempt at fashion. At least he's trying. He wipes some beer foam from his mustache and gestures toward you all. Ah, you must be from the guild. About time. Look a bit green, don't they, Crumble? Aye, but eager to earn some coin, I'm sure of it. Very well. The task is simple. We need you to clean out the mine of anything dangerous you find in there. Be it creatures, squatters, or something else. And if you can find any of our missing miners, we'll pay extra. Can't have another strike round here. Uh, here's some torches, a rope, and a potion for each of you. He hands you each a uh, potion of healing, which gives Yummy. you 2d4 plus 2 healing if you need it. I trust this man. He's got a big, robust beard. <laughs> Hi, yours isn't too shabby either. Oi, thank you! How long is that? Six feet. My! <laughs> the brain would never four know feet, the dog. <laughs> I have to, I have to flip it around to me back. It's so <laughs> long. Ah, I thought she was wearing a cape. Very nice. Keeps me warm. So how many miners are missing? Missing two. Uh, there's a. And how long have they been been missing in this in this cave? About two days. Oh. Is that why you're giving out the health potions? Well, we don't know what's in there, and you know we can't get in trouble with the guild as well as the mining union. Well, we're very grateful that you called our guild. We have a satisfaction guarantee. Yeah, that's what they say. We pay enough in dues, I say. <laughs> well, tell you a bit about the mine here. It's pretty deep, but the main shaft you'll be scouting has got two bends. Uh, well, actually, is it three? Crumble, how many is it? Ah, it's three bends. Three bends in there. Ah, three bends. Then the maw. Uh, and that leads into a large open area where we've been digging our gemstones. Not sure where anybody went missing, but I haven't been in there for a bit. Uh, Crumble sort of jumps in. He says, a few of the miners swear they heard ghostly wailing 
after the second bend near the glowworm pool. And at least two of our crews missing around that area. One of our demolitionists swears they saw something moving in the dark past the third bend, where the stalagmites and stalactites look like a gaping maw. But who knows what it was? Mm, I want to go to the glowworm pool. Sounds so dangerous. Should, should we go now? Like, are we going now into this mine? Uh, I would say it sounds like I'd time like is of the essence. Preferably, the sooner you clear I'm it trying out, to make the money. You get back to work. Uh, Let's get in there. Crumble points to uh, the demolitionist who he says saw something in there. Um, and it's a, it's a female halfling sitting on a log across the way, bundling some dynamite together. What's all that about? I see she's got some boom sticks. <laughs> she she looks up um, and gives a, a crooked smile. You can tell she's pretty excited about her explosives. Can we help her out? I feel like we could help. Maybe, it, you know, it's easier for us young bodies to run away from the dynamite after we light it, right? Us dwarfs don't touch boomsticks. I'm free. <laughs> yep, there, halfling. Do you need any help with your boomsticks? <laughs> As you approach the, the, she has goggles that holds her hair back, and she wears drab overalls uh, that suggests this little fire firecrackers all work and no play. She doesn't look up when you approach, and she just says, "What." What so we it? just thought perhaps uh, you might need some help with that. Help with my explosives? Yes. Perhaps. Look, I'll tell you what I told them. I was just past the ma splicing fuses for a blast we had planned the next morning. I heard something moving in the cave, so I grabbed my lantern and went to see what it was. Thought maybe it was a missing person. Then, after a few yards, I saw some bright silver eyes floating in the dark. Now, whatever that's it, is, it. Yeah, I don't know what it was. But I figured it was too dangerous to stay in there, so I came back out here. But. Hey, guys, she left without finishing the job. She's the problem. Hey, I only work when the union lets me work. Why didn't you just throw boomsticks at the monster? I don't know if it was a monster. I have no idea what it was, and frankly, I don't care. I only get paid if I blast, and I can't do that right now. So why don't you figure it out? Give us those sticks. Yeah, can we can we get those boomsticks to aid in getting rid of this problem so we can all get back to our jobs and some money? All Let right. us do your job. Fine. She uh, tosses you a bundle of dynamite. Uh, Who wants the whole bundle of dynamite? Up. Not me! I'm the most <laughs> responsible. I'll take the dynamite. Really, Gypsum? You didn't remember your name half an hour ago. That was yesterday's Gypsum. <laughs> Maybe that's how she hurt her head. Can we trust her with the boomies? I remember what happened. Very trustworthy now. face. <laughs> all, all right, right. All right. I mean, I suppose we could always take them away if we have to. Not one to argue the party rule. <laughs> <laughs> all right, shall we get in there and let's blow this this creature up? You know, well, we should ask who he is first. Yeah, of course. Yes. All right, we go. Whatever. We're Let's going do it. mine. All right. As you enter the mine, the light seems to be swallowed up by the black depths before you. Before long, you can't see a thing. <laughs> I've got night vision. As do I. Actually, wait, do we all have dark vision? I have 60 feet 
worth of dark vision. Hey, yeah, I've got 60 feet, too. 60 feet. Uh, bunch of spooky little that's, cave crawlers. That's, that's 56 feet taller than I am. <laughs> we can use you as a measuring stick if we have to. Probably me on the floor. I like torches. laying horizontal. So everyone can see, right? Uh, yes. yes. I can see 60 feet only. And it's it's a pretty big cave, right? Yeah, it's pretty sizable. So it's the the walls, it's probably you know, twenty feet wide to start and about uh twelve feet high. Um, but it's gonna it gets wider the further you go in. Um okay. the deeper you go, the quieter it gets as well. Stale air creeps into your lungs with each breath. Occasionally, you can hear something moving somewhere in the dark, but you can't tell if it's an animal or a rock tumbling down a mine shaft, or something else. It bit my lungs. <laughs> <laughs> when you reach the first bend, uh, you hear squeaking coming from above. Mm -hmm. Rat. Everybody Rat. is going to roll. Which one? Some perception for me here. And we're Boy, I think I see something up there. I don't like all those creepy critters crawling around. They're just friends. A lot of creepy critters. All leathery winged friends. Ooh. It's just like my apartment in the Elven City. <laughs> Horrible. Those flats are nice. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right, everyone is able to caves. notice that up above there is a massive amount of bats hanging from the ceiling. Nope. Boy, look at those little bastards up there. <laughs> <laughs> you're shouting. <laughs> you're, you're shouting I'm alerts. So, I'm sorry. Alerts the bats. <laughs> you gotta be quiet. Um, and they start to... Ogre or whatever. <laughs> they start to get disturbed. Quiet down. I must watch the level of um, my voice. We... Yes. Gotta be quiet. Um, we shouldn't disturb the bats. They're our, our allies. Are they? Bat guano. Yes, bat. You know, their poop is very good for me. Yeah. Many potions and mushrooms. I don't know about that. They look a wee bit bigger than normal bats. I'm not trusting it. Should we should we just move ahead because they heard the noise in the second and third bends? Let's get well, up to that. I bend. mean, they said we were supposed to get rid of anything in the caves, right? Are we sure we're not supposed to be killing the bats? I think we should definitely leave the bats. Oh, oh. I think the um, eco rights. Uh, you know, watch my. Might, might I mean, be a the, the, the bats she's a little too mindful yet. of the union rules. Well, this is our first job, so I think that we should all be a little mindful. So I guess we should leave the the bats alone for now. Yes, I see no silvery eyes up on the roof. Okay, so to get past them, would you like to try to sneak past the bats, or do you want to try to like scare them? out so they I'm I'm a pretty away. sneaky person so I would like to sneak by okay. I think the quietest route is the best yes I must yeah. check on my familiar momentarily <laughs> Boy, my familiar is sitting here with a big butt just real nice and calm in my tunic all right so we're gonna make some stealth checks for everybody here Oi, what's that? Must be my tunic wash. Okay. Sven's beard is quite impressive. I didn't notice it before, but now, truly, <laughs> well, it... It is surely cascading down my entire body. <laughs> I thought it was a fur coat. Oh, yes, many... It, it is pretty lush. Many do, yes. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, that's a priceless item in some parts of the realm a dwarf fur coat 
<laughs> many, many are jealous of the runes I can hide in my beard. Me being a wizard, I can uh, make use of anything in my beard. All right, so Sven <laughs> is going to handily sneak past the bat. <laughs> Sure-footed is the dwarf wizard. Linders, the stealthiest of the bunch, is also going to make it by no problem at all. Hella selfie here. Hella selfie. Gypsum, also pretty stealthy yourself. Ooh, yeah. Wasn't so Ooh. stealthy when she got hit by the rock. Gypsum, as you sneak past the bat, um... You slip on a rock. Oh no. And it kicks aside uh -oh. to the wall. And you look up at the bats waiting for them all to awaken and fly out in a flurry. But they don't. But that was pretty close. Thank goodness. Narrowly missed another head injury. Yeah, well, would you forget this time? And have da <laughs> what is it? Have dash? Haverdash? Mr. Haverdash? Have dash. Cab okay. dash. Cab. Cash cab. All right. Cab dash. I won that once. <laughs> Did you win? <laughs> uh -oh. Of course. <laughs> I am a wizard. Cab dash, you. Um, what do you have on you, Cab dash? Are you carrying like a, like a staff or something? What do you? A spear, a short bow, spear, okay. also a crowbar. Your spear, um, it's going to, I'm assuming you have like your spear on your back maybe, or maybe you're holding it. Yeah. Uh, as you are. I should draw my spear. As you're walking through, like you accidentally like scrape the tip of your spear along the wall. And this is going to alert the swarm of bats above you. Um, um but you have a chance to dive out of the way before these things decide they want to bite you up. So you're going to make a save here. Have you make a dex save. Uh, actually, I'll let you do... Yeah, dex. Your athletics and acrobatics. You're not, you're not very acrobatic, unfortunately. So let's see. Oh, you just barely managed to dive out of the way of the oh. bats as they screech past and fly out of the cave. Pray to the, the moon bats. mother for them. Yes, yes, the moon mother, the gods, one and the same, yes. As you go around the second bend, uh, you can start to feel some warmth and the air gets to be a bit more muggy. Um, and soon you see before you a pool of water um, that's very hot, uh, filled with these glowing worms that live in the water below. Um, worms! That it, must be the worm pool the little tiny boomstick woman was talking about. You notice there's like a it. bridge across the, the worm pool, but it doesn't seem to be functional anymore. Can we repair it? You could attempt to, but it would probably take you some time. Time you may not have. Can we swim can across it? Jump. Well, I have druid craft, so can I try to druid craft us or entangle? Hmm. Which one would be better? What are you, what are you attempting to do? I want to try to like make vines to like okay. fix the bridge. To like make a vine bridge where the bridge is missing. Yeah, make a vine bridge. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love the energy of that. So let's see. Is that entangle spell you're you're hoping to use yeah entangle i think it's entangle okay I'll, I'll let you just make uh yeah a check with that and 
Let's see, that would be a wisdom check here. Since you're so you're gonna attempt to grow some vines across this bridge space here. Let's see. Me and my compatriots can cross safely. I've never seen a sight with such wondrous magic. My tiny dwarven eyes deceive me. So you're able to get some vines to grow along the bridge there, but they can't quite reach across. They get close. So it looks like you could try to make a jump at this point. Um, oh, yeah, I've got short little legs. Who will throw me across? <laughs> I have strong acrobatics. I would love to just leap. I don't know if I can throw a man, though. Hmm. All right. I have not learned the trade of levitation, even me being a wizard. Let's see, let's see. What else could we do? I will attempt the jump first. Why not? I love it. I do have a cure wounds, so if it doesn't go well, we have a then plan B. <laughs> send the smallest, most bearded member across first. What about your six foot beard? Can't you oh, just I would like to attempt to throw my beard across the way and hold and pull myself across with my beard. Fantastic. <laughs> I love it. All right. Uh, so I'll have you make a dex check to see if you can loop your beard <laughs> around something <laughs> on the other side. All right. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, so you, you're able to, like, attach your beard to something across the way there. And now, are you pulling? You're going to pull yourself with the beard? I'm going to swing across and throw it back to my compatriots to travel with <laughs> me along the rope. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, so... I'm not touching that. Just, I, w I will jump. <laughs> the beard Nothing. is vegan. It's okay. <laughs> Yes, but I don't know if that was her uh, her problem with it, but <laughs> you know, but it's a taste thing, you know. I, I just can't touch it, you know. It, it is a bit. Dwarves sticky. really don't let you touch their beards very often, so I would like to try to use the beard bridge. Yeah, this is <laughs> once in a lifetime. It is a majestic thing. Yes, <laughs> I feel confident in my jumping abilities. All right, well, Sven, you're able to get across handily using your your beard tactic. I must say I'm impressed. Thank you, thank you. Anyone else who would like to use my beard can. I'll try it. Great. You're going to swing across. I'll have you make a, a strength check here. Yeah, it works. You're able to swing across with the beard. Oh, hey, look at that. What a majestic travel. You know, it reminded me more of a uh, tangle of wrath than I'd like to admit. <laughs> it is considered to be the world's greatest gondola. <laughs> I would like to see if I can jump. How, how wide is the gap? It's probably about six feet. It's not a Oh, lot, I'm, a, but... I'm a swift little monk. I'd like to leap just and do a backflip in the middle because I'm in acrobatics. Great. Let's see these acrobatics. Here we go. Oh, yeah. You do a nice little flip across. Was it Boy, that little bastard jumped right over me beard. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm going to go follow follow her and, and jump across as well. My, mine is the beard, please. No beard, okay. No beard. What about That's a backflip, no? It's been used. It is, no, thank you. I mean, the, the, the locks are quite luscious, but I, I'm not offended. Thank you for not stealing my style. <laughs> yes, you all and make is it, it across. A, is it a... So is the hair as luscious on the back as it is on the front? Oh, that is up for your imagination. I do not <laughs> yield my own secrets. 
but many have said good things. I don't know. So now that are we all across the bridge? Yes, you've all crossed the bridge now. Um, Sven is sort of reeling his his beard back in. Give me a bit. I'll loop it over my back. Uh, and yeah, you're you. So you're all over the 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 glow pond, glow worm pond. You can see it below. You can still feel the heat coming off of it. You assume that had you fallen in, it would probably have burned quite a bit. Oh. Well, that's a good thing that uh, nobody fell in. <laughs> I put a GPS point on the little wizard app. I'm going to come back here to dig me toes in later. <laughs> yeah, it might, fe- it might feel really good. You never know. Maybe those little glow worms I- will like eat at your... Exfoliates your whole body. Yeah. Little runic charm on me toesies, and I'll be okay. So you guys uh, continue on um, into the cave further. The, the the area that you're in, it all starts to open up quite a bit more. Um, and so, the even with your your dark vision, the it gets even darker for you still. As you round the th- uh, third bend, you can hear some more squeaking. It sounds like similar to the bats from earlier. Well, are they bigger bats? Can I see them? Um, you can't see them yet, but now you can hear something much bigger. Oh, I think we should approach cautiously. Everybody, be quiet. I would like All to right, speak no about... at the bat, then. Hey, listen, I was a little excited. <laughs> First job and all, you know. True enough. Looking like a true oh, greenie. As you guys round the corner um, of this bend... Cavdash, you mm-hmm. spot up above you a giant bat. Ooh, how giant? Like ten times the size of the tiny bats that you had to dodge earlier. Oh, you need okay, it. I hold a finger <laughs> up my mouth to be like, and then I point up everybody and let everyone know all right everyone you're able to see this this bat it's quite large very hairy nice long I like bat i remember something itself. about this area can i do i know what the bat eats i'm trying to remember <laughs> maybe they don't even eat human flesh just fruits um well yeah, you can give me see, i'll have you you can make a survival check to see what you know about the yeah. bats. They eat human like, flesh, like, that's okay, to... as long as they don't eat dwarf flesh. You're not certain that they don't eat, that a giant bat wouldn't eat human flesh, but you do know that if you angered it, it would not be afraid to defend itself. I do have a light crossbow on me. If we get in a sticky bind, I'll shoot it in the eyeballs. I'll just punch. Are we sure I also have a dark thing that we're supposed to be after? I don't. I feel like we should keep sneaking. The little boomstick lady back. stressed spooky ghosts. I don't believe a bat is a spooky thing. Look at that little bastard. He's just a. Oh, he's pretty big. <laughs> I saw. But I mean, let's keep he's... sneaking. All right. Do you want? Do you want to attack the beast? No, I don't really want to, but I can't tell if that's our assignment. But you know, it, think... it might have silvery eyes. Should we wake it up? Should we stir it? What if what if it calls for more? Uh well then we'd surely be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> There's five of us, they're just little creatures with wings. Uh, he doesn't look quite little to me. I'm just a little dwarf. Yes, we have to protect him because he's so short from getting carried away by one of the creatures. 
Um, hmm. All right, it's let's here, move on and then. Treasure. If they don't find any other spooky things, then we can come back. All right, so how would you like to get and past show the, the, the bat? How, like, is it like very high up? It's high up, but it, it you, you know, it's in it's along your path here. Uh, I like, like to sneak. Just try to sneak. Yeah. Okay. So everyone makes some more stealth checks here. Let's see if we get past the giant bat. Sven. Oh, fingers crossed! I don't stir the beast. Fan gets by, okay. <laughs> by Merlin's beard. Oh, wow. And Linder's like. You guys don't even see so just how finish. Linder's did it, but all of a sudden Linder's is like past it. <laughs> oh, hello. I didn't so even see you arrive by my she side. Blink and she's over there. You sneak up there and pick that bat's pockets. Gypsum, like, Linders kind of just appears over there, but Linders even turns and sees that Gypsum is already there as well. Wow. You guys are really stealthy. Even sneakier. Can you believe? Oh, a whole party full of sneaky bastards. But let's see how Cavdash does. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Mm. What? Again? Again? Can you tell? Cab I have very high <laughs> sneaky, so... I don't My know crossbows at the ready. Shall you get I some bad rolls? I little... can't help it. Um, Cavdash, you uh, again. You sort of don't really know where you are, and you stub your toe on a rock. And you can't help but sort of yell out a swear. Oh! And the bat That's awakens, profane. and it it spreads out its massive wings, and it's gonna fly down. And try to attack you all. Should we throw I would like to shoot it, it with my crossbow immediately. <laughs> Alright, so we'll do initiative real quick. So the giant bat is going to go. Then I'll let Sven try to shoot it. <laughs> and I'll let you guys determine the rest of the order here. So first the giant bat swoops down. Is going to attempt to bite Cav Dash. Yeah. I'm trying to save you. All right, so that's a 20 to your AC of 12. So that's going to hit you for three damage. Oh, no. Okay. So, yeah, the, the bat swings down, and it gives you a good, good bite in the neck. Oh man. Can I throw a dart at that thing or will I hit my friend? Yeah, you Sorry, can definitely coworker. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely hit the bat, but I think Sven has got a, a bolt locked and loaded in his crossbow. <gasps> Let me stick this bastard. Alright, so crossbow, you fire away. Oh yeah, and that's gonna hit. You're gonna strike it like right in its wing, and you're gonna I do... think I got it. You're gonna do five damage to it. Nice. That stinky little fucker. And easier. Run this down. All right. Uh, Gypsum, you wait. Who wanted to throw the dart? Me, yeah, I've got a dart to throw. All right. I'm gonna chuck it right at one of those guys. I you feel know. a little bad because I'm a monk. <laughs> you hurl the dart at the bat. Well, I mean, you're defending people. You're doing good stuff. You know, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Don't feel bad. You're saving our skinny hides. All right, and you're gonna hit. Where where do you where were you aiming with that dart there? I was aiming right in the chest. Well, it strikes true, and you hit the bat four 
Seven damage. It's quite the throw. Oh, Did get, he die? Is it, get is in. the bat still alive? The bat is still alive, and it's oh my gosh! Really oh, angry. we gotta put it out of its misery. Oh, I know. So I'm gonna Winders shoot it with up. my short bow. With, oh. with with my quiver of twenty arrows. All right. I'm drawing a Pokemon bat because that's the only bat I remember what they look like. <laughs> Zoo bat. <laughs> It's Zubat. And your bow so also a, hits. Where were you aiming? I'm aiming right between the eyes. Ooh, right between the eyes. Let's see. Let's see how thick this thing's skull is. Oh, no. Oh, man. You hit it for nine damage. And it falls to the ground, but it's not dead. It's it's what? It's on death's door, and it's just sort of like squirming now. It's... Actually, kind of sad at this point. Oh, that's say we, sad. we just dynamite it to put it out of its misery. The uh, dynamite uh, yeah. might alert more. We save that dynamite. Who would dynamite? like to sneak dynamite. over and just save put it. a knife in its neck? Uh, I'd like to use my. I could punch it. <laughs> I like to use my produce flame. Cantrip. Okay. Fireball. Says I can use it as an attack. Great. So you're gonna. It's just the cantrip, right? Okay, so yeah, you light it a flame. This bat that was bleeding out on the cave floor ignites in flame and is sort of just like writhing around as it burns. <laughs> I would uh, like to get my dart back if my dart was stuck in its body. Mm, let's see. Uh, unless well, it, it was comes the back body to was just a little flame, so let's see. You might the, want to leave that puny little dart there. It's the not The arrow's it. lost for sure, but let's see if the dart was maintained in there. Let's say it's about a 20% chance. No, your dart also was scorched away by your Whoops. your colleague. Rest in pieces. <laughs> you Sorry, have guys. a finite amount cool. of those little weapons. It went to a good cause. I cannot be mad. Worth it, worth it. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Cavdash, you kind of like cough a bit as like the <laughs> the fumes of burning bat <laughs> fill the the cave space. Does it smell good? It does, does it smell, smell pretty like good, actually. Tasty? Yeah. Would say I'd eat it. Ten out of ten. I I I would like to like break off a piece of the more charred bit, like the part that looks most cooked. Okay. Are you going to eat it, or are you going to save it for later? I'm going to try to taste it now. I hope it doesn't taste sick. Live a little. All right, yeah, you're able to snap off like sort of a charred bit of one of its legs. And uh, you take a bite and taste just like chicken. Mm. Then you sort of pick some hairs out of your mouth. Yeah, he was very furry. So. Yeah. Anyone else want to eat some bat? Um, I'm a vegetarian. I'm a uh, wood elf. Gotcha. We don't right. eat bats. That makes sense. I'm also a monk. I don't eat cave creatures. <laughs> Let's see, though. Maybe no, this is. One of you have ever been desperate bat. enough, then. You know what, though, Kevin? Well, you, you gain one HP from that, that savory. Bat bit. Yeah. Mm. I support your food journey. The thing that attacked me and took me down, I shall now eat and gain health. Yeah. Nothing is more powerful than eating your enemies. Yes. Circle of life. Now you must hear the lamentations of their children echo deep within your soul. <laughs> And on that note, you guys continue down the cave. <laughs> uh, you you head further in, uh, and you approach um, what must be the third bend, uh, because before you, you now see a forest of stalactites and stalagmites. It's just like this massive cave area with um, 
It looks like monstrous teeth made of stone coming up from the ground and coming down from the ceiling. Do we tread cautiously? Mm. It does what? look quite sinister. We should tread cautiously because of all the spikes. This is how I got a concussion before. You remember getting a concussion? Oh, <laughs> quite a weird uh, predicament. Yes, all came back to me. Just I got a flashback. Deja vu, as you. Oh, say. I do have to ask you then. What is your name? Gypsum. Oh. Still. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Quite Thank a weird you. predicament. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Uh, shall we, can we get through this room or should we navigate around the stalactites? I mean, I are they stalactites or stalactites? I must say, are they coming from the floor or the ceiling? It's both. Oh, shit. You, yeah, that's why you think, that's why you realize it's called the mob because it just looks like this monstrous mouth ahead of mouth. you. It's, it's quite the vista of stone teeth. Can someone take a picture? We oh, could do a quilt painting. Oh, or yes. drawing. The monk! They have scrolls. Can you please draw something? We can get it back at camp. Union dues will yes, pay I will, for it. I will, I will do us a little doodle for later to remember the occasion. Maybe we can put it in our Union keyframe magazine. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. Shout out. <laughs> so get in the newsletter. <laughs> oh, it would be quite nice, yeah? Yeah. Maybe Can we someone see can request it? us specifically. We'll get more stars on our <laughs> reviews. I like it. What's in the middle of this cave? Is it. So you can't tell. Because... Are we outside? Well, but because ahead of you, it's like thick. It's like a thick, dark forest of like stalagmites and stalactites. So you sort of have like this area. You have to move through it um, to see what's going on. We wade cautiously. Let's move forward, everybody. Be Let's stick together. Be perceptive. Okay. All right, so you're moving through, me. sticking together. Are you guys like? Are you going like single file or bunched together like a little clam? Yeah, single file. I guess that makes sense. All right, let's hear some marching order. What? Who's going first? I'll uh, dive in first. All right. I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, I would like to gently push his head to the back of the line. <laughs> he is quite short. I have many of us have maybe higher night vision. <laughs> I mean, I'm quite Actually, perceptive. I, I don't mind going first. Okay. I'll you know, slam, slam in I there. see no one trusts me. I'll sit in the back with my magic. All right. I will slowly creep forward. Um, I would like to go a couple feet at a time so I can make sure I can still see in the dark. Okay. You slowly inch. I have, maybe I have to crawl through them. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, you know, you have to like kind of like sideways through some of these. Uh, it gets to be some tight spaces here and there, but you you lead the group into the maw, and uh, you're gonna make a survival check here to see if you're able to guide everybody through safely. Uh oh. You guys want to do a canvas reset soon? Oh yeah. Do uh, I can do going? that. I can keep going. I'm drawing pretty small. Up okay. to you guys. I mean, I could just click on and off layers too. Oh, true. All I would like to say is I would have preferred to go first because now something seems to be quite fucked. Yes, yeah, so that was a critical failure. Let's see what happens. Um, it's not my fault. I had my magic missiles primed and ready, but you know now I'm just in the back for support. Yeah. No worries. You <laughs> you get the group lost 
gypsum. <laughs> you, you, the group gets lost in the I'm sorry in the ma. <laughs> Um, you guys kind of get turned around. And some of you actually even get separated somehow. Uh -oh. um, I'd like to take a perception check to see who I'm separated from or who I'm with. Sven, you've been separated with Linders. Oh, hello, Linders. Yes, it's us. It's us now. And uh, Cavdash is alone as well as Gypsum. Oh dear. Uh, Is it possible to shoot a magic missile straight in the air as a flare so people could see where Haverdash and myself are? Oh, I like it. Let's see. So you're going to cast magic missile? Yes. Fantastic. So yeah, you'll spend a spell slot, you'll cast magic missile, and you, you're shooting it straight up at the, the ceiling? Uh, yes, and I hope it's not too too much of a distraction for the beasts that may be in this game. <laughs> Great! You fire up, you fire your magic missile up, and everyone is able to see it. Uh, Wonderful! Yes, hello. Everyone's this also is me. able to see the missile collide with the cavern ceiling. <laughs> oh, no. oh no! Oh dear! Um, and Gypsum is going to make a deck save here to try to dodge some falling stalactites. God dang it! <laughs> Giving me PTSD. Please no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just barely dodge out of the way of one as it tumbles down the point, striking near you, and then you watch as it starts to topple over and you roll to the side as it slams into the ground <gasps> next to you. A narrow escape. The narrowest. Uh, but you all are able to see where that came from and uh, find your way back to each other. But you also now can hear somebody calling hello who's there hello somebody else saw the missile I, too I do you believe we may have found one or two of the little bastards that are stuck in here we should Perhaps call out to them hello sir person hello a faint uh, woman's voice you know is calling out please help please we're here, lady. <laughs> Let's play. Did you see the missile? Was it far away? No, it wasn't too far. They must be close. Do you, do you have any way to show us where you are? Uh, does somebody want to try to like follow the sound of her voice, maybe? Oh, yes. Uh, Let's yeah, head that. towards that. All right, so... Let's see, who has the best perception? We'll use them. That way, everyone's in good shape here. I have a plus three. Very intelligent, some say. Ooh, but Cavdash has a oh, plus five God. perception. Oh, oh snap. Wow. Uh, All right, yeah. so Cavdash, let's see if you can find this lost person here. Oh, yeah. You were able to lead the group over. And you find a human woman laying on the ground, and there's a stalactite that has toppled down and crushed one of her legs. She's trapped underneath it. Oh. She's like, please help me. Are you hurt? Uh, obviously. Are you a healer? <laughs> please. <laughs> You're trapped. I don't know that I, I'm hurt. stuck, and I think my leg is broken. No, she doesn't look hurt. I think she may have just been sitting here for posterity. <laughs> <laughs> we well, um, her. can do I any of us have healing? I do. I have healing. I have cure should we, should we lift have... the, the stalagmite off first? Yes, That's please. please. <laughs> but like, I, I'm really weak. I have minus one on my strength, so somebody I'm else can do it. I'm strong in arms. Um, oh, I don't know. I'm. I'm just a dwarf wizard, but I will try if I can. Let's me and the dwarf team up, and we should lift this up together. Can I smash it with one of my hammers? Maybe even use his beard <laughs> and tie it around to drag it away. The the woman's like, please, please don't smash it. I'm underneath this. 
Come on, let me smash it. <laughs> no, no, Sven, I think I think she's right. That seems like maybe not. Let's try to move it first, and then maybe yes. ah, that. Let's me and you. Body. She's alive. <laughs> she can literally hear you. <laughs> Let's move this this here rock. All right. Can, can we help? Like, can multiple people do this? Well, so one of you can do it, and then one person can help to give her advantage. All right, I have a. I'm pretty strong, if I do say so. Um, don't let the svelte elven body fool you. Um, I can definitely lift that thing with the aid of my the dwarf. Okay. All right. Let's see. My familiar screaming. I think we can do it. <laughs> Yeah, you're able to you're able to get it off. At least just enough that she can pull her her leg out. It looks pretty bad. Uh oh. oh. Okay. Sorry. Uh, Does you, anyone here have room. any healing magic or any kits and salves? I have I'm two. I have healing word mine. and cure <laughs> wounds. Please, please help me. Cure wounds. All right, you cast cure wounds. Um, yeah, you like sort of kneel down and hover your hands over the broken leg. And what do you do when you cast your spell? Do you like say some words? Do you do any movements? Yeah, I uh, I pull out like a little bundle of sage, and I like light it, and then do like a little symbol in the air. Okay. Very druidy. I like that. Uh, and yeah, you as you finish your incantation. The, the the leg starts to look a bit healthier. It's not perfect, but she can sort of hobble along now. And she's like, thank you so much. Does she need help leaving the cave? Where is she going to go? She has a half-broken leg. Should we bring her with us on our quest? I Old lady, would you like to come baggage. with us? She says she knows the way back out. Okay. Um, so up to you. No, thank I you. I trust her. Let her go. Yes. <laughs> Be gone. Oh, thank she you. got stuck under such a little rock that easy. We can't trust her on this mission. Be <laughs> careful of the bat. She she asks uh, before she leaves us. She asks if anybody has anything to eat and if she can have one of your torches. Uh, I'll give her my any torch. Cris I've crispy got bat. magic fingers. Look if we took any of it with us. Right. Ah, oh, shoot. Sven, you give her um, a torch. Um, but I could also give her my potion of healing. Keep it. She's not worth it. We've already got the <gasps> coin. The body's out. We should be careful of potentially insulting a dangerous wizard. Old ladies, you never know. Yeah. I, you know. That's kind of true. Also, I have no more spells left. So. <laughs> dangerous. I'm the dangerous one. She's just an injured civilian. Right, she... <laughs> I'm apparently able to gather berries, so maybe I have a berry or two to spare. All right, yeah, you hand her some oh, berries. You have good berries? She, she takes the berries and the torch. She she lights her the torch uh, with a flint and steel thing and carries on. She's like, thank you so much. I'll let them know that, you know, you've reached the maw. Yes, five stars, please. <laughs> I gave her magic mushrooms. I hope she makes it out alive. <laughs> She's like, oh, <laughs> yes, these are my favorite. Don't jump in the glow pool. So now you reading. guys can see uh, sort of the edge of the maw, the other side of it anyway. And soon you're through. Uh, and you've reached this very large space now. Still very dark. Uh, but you're able to see gemstones poking out of the walls in various locations. And you can tell this is where they were doing a majority of their digging. Cool. So what's the problem? How come it's blocked? It seems like we walked here just fine. Well, Should we blow out that. the stalactites? 
Let's see. Everyone... Um, can we... Can I... Hmm? I was going to ask if I could roll a perception. With you yeah, yeah. yeah let's, let's see what we see here. I was going to ask where one of my layers went, because I can only do one of them. What? Uh oh. Oh, you can create a new layer. But I'm, I've got one. My main drawing layer is like locked, and I can't find it. I've got this one. That I'm turning on and off. Uh oh. Yeah. Don't it's worry. Hard, I'll keep going. I'm a it's wizard somewhere. dwarf. I'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. You, Captain. You see. What looks like a body in the distance, lying on the ground. Uh -oh. Is it breathing? Can't tell from. I, I point out to everybody. I think there's a body over in the distance. We might need to get a little closer. We should be careful that whatever took it out might still be around. All right, so we're gonna go up to the body. All right. As yes. you approach the body, you can tell that it's dead. It's the body of a half elf man laying there and Not a splat, one of my own kind. It's a it's a real shame. Um and you guess that this may have been the other miner. You still get the coin if he's dead. We're gem Can we miners. Try to take the body out with us. Do we see? Do we see how he died? Do we see any wounds? Any? Markers? You see some bite marks, as oh. well as some puncture wounds that probably. Mm. Those bats. Came. They look like two <laughs> little bats. bite marks from the bats. No, these are large bite marks, and the puncture wounds look like. They came from weapons. Oh. I do believe he's been stabbed by some sort of spirit sword. Linders, you spot off in the distance two silvery eyes <gasps> watching you. Something's watching us. Something's watching us, guys. Don't look into the eyes, whatever you do. And the rest of I've you... read enough elf fiction to know what could That's happen. That's the little bastard that got him and then you all That's you see another set of silvery eyes appear in the dark watching you and another someone someone, someone get some dynamite we saw yeah, dynamite, dynamite. ready the boom sticks we should just each throw one into the void and you start to hear some sort of animalistic almost like laughing not unlike a hyena no Spooky! No! Does anyone know how to do a protection spell? I don't uh, know. Uh, I do not. Also, I am out of spells. I have mage armor, but I do not believe it extends to the whole party. I only have an unchaku, and in my concussion, I forgot how to use it. But I'll remember shortly, I'm sure. It's not really <laughs> I have a set of fancy clothing. I could attempt to Very cast helpful. one minor illusion if we want to run quickly to get away from these prying eyeballs. I think we're supposed to kill them. I don't know. I have a hunch. Uh, yeah, let's just we ru running running away from our problems are not going to fix it. We, we need we to go head, head on. Head on. <laughs> we got to blow this <laughs> mine up. Kill it. Who shall we kill first? Let's shoot magic missiles at everyone. Okay, how many pairs of eyes are there? There's three pairs of eyes. Three pairs of eyes, okay. And are they all kind of in front of us, or are they surrounding? So they're, I, they're I would... come up behind the way you guys have come in, so you, you'd have to go through them to get out now. I would like to try and sneak attack. Okay, so you want to you wanna hide, try to hide first? Oh, I, I have to hide first? Okay, yeah, I will try to I hide see first. Us. Uh, or in, or if you, uh, I think if you attack them, if you make the first attack, you can sneak attack as a rogue, as long as they oh, really? haven't taken a turn yet. 
What kind of rogue are you, actually? It depends. I'm a wood elf rogue. Thief? Thief rogue? A thief rogue, okay. I will ready my crossbow. Okay, but I'll let you I try to hide and up. try to like sneak up on them if you want. Yeah, could I try and hide and then sneak attack? Okay. All right, so let's do your hide check. So we're gonna do a stealth check here. All right, you're able to hide. Tell me, tell me how you're hiding. What are you trying to do? Um, I I roll behind some boulders. Okay, nice. And then from there, I sneak attack the middle eyes. Are you throwing something, shooting something? Short bow. Short bow, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As you line up your bow to fire the arrow, you finally see what these eyes belong to. It's three gnolls who have made, tried to make this cave their home. Uh, a knoll. A knoll. I eat knolls for breakfast. <laughs> These are. They kind of look like hyena people. Is the best way I can describe them. So they're humanoids. So they stand on two feet, um, and then, but they kind of look like a hyena otherwise. And they wear they wear armor mm. and they have uh, weapons and whatnot, uh, but they speak their own language and they usually just don't like pretty much anybody that does anyone sense. have to speak to animals well they're not animals i can speak orcish and dwarf but that's it I believe they're humanoid can i attempt to bark at them and maybe they'll understand me do you think they will speak any kind of language do they speak crossbow can i shoot <laughs> them now well yeah i think linders is lining up a shot so linders are you taking Ooh. a shot I am taking the shot, the All middle right. one. I love it. Shot taken. And shot Oop. hit. Yes. Boy. So you plant it. Let's see. Let's see. Both of my familiars are clawing its bugs right at my feet. I must get them out of here. I'll stash, I'll stash them back in my tunic. Sorry about the disturbance. I'm kind of shit out of luck unless I uh, run at these guys and sneak up on them. I might, I might try to sneak up on them. Well, now that one of them the has been hit with an arrow here, like right in the snout... Uh, the gnolls are going to charge the rest of the group because they're not sure where that arrow came from. <gasps> All right, I so would like to arm up with my nunchaku. Fantastic. Now that I've, now that I've seen that gnoll flailing around, I'd like to hit it with a fire bolt. All right, yeah, so yeah. Okay, so Sven, you have three gnolls charging at you here. Um... One of them has an arrow in the snout. Which one? Uh... The closest one to me, I'd like to ready, turn about face, and hit the closest one with a firebolt. Great. So you fire off a firebolt. What's that look like when you cast firebolt? I hit a breakdance pose, and I shoot it between my legs straight in the face. Oh, I love it. Your firebolt, however, zooms past and strikes oh. some stone behind it. Um, Too much pizzazz. Gypsum, what are you doing? Uh-oh. Is got he pretty these... close to me now? <laughs> yeah, they're charging. They're not quite on your face yet, but they're, they're going to be there soon. All right. I would like to go ahead and fill that gap and just whack him. I love it. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> so you're whacking with your nunchaku. All right. Maybe I jump away. I don't know. We'll see how much, how fast I am. Gypsum, now is not the time to second guess. Sure of shot. 
<laughs> Great. You you leap up and you you smack one right across the jaw. And you're going nice. to do 7 damage to one. Whack. Beat him up. Very nice. All right, nice cab dash. Good job. Yep. Uh, I'm going to are close to you now. All right, I'm going to short bow. That was a short bow. I'm a short bow the one that is uh, nearest to me. Okay. Sounds good. You oh, think they nice. wear clothes? They do wear clothes. They wear Just wee little rags. They're ugly bastards. Yeah, simple clothing and armor. Things they can pillage off of dead people, too. Mold ridden garments, flea ridden bastards. Mm. Alright, so your short bow, that's going to be a critical hit. Ooh! So nice. you're going to get to roll double damage here. Oh man, those are both. Unfortunately, they were really <laughs> terrible rolls. So you did four damage yeah. total with that crit. Yikes. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Sometimes. We'll get them next time. But you feel good about it. <laughs> it that's all that good. matters. <laughs> now, the points for style. Knowles have arrived at the group, though. One of them's going to try to take a whack at Sven for shooting a firebolt. <laughs> at uh, I eat your nails for breakfast, you little bastard. So he's got a spear, and he's going to swing it at you here. Oh, let's see. Does 12 hit? Sven, let's see. I've got mage armor. That must help me a little bit. Yes. Or is that oh, that's a spell? Never mind! Oh no, yeah, <laughs> this is going to hit you for. Ooh, five damage. Ha. Ah, I eat that for breakfast. So that's going to whack you pretty good there. Now, this other one is going to try. To hit you, Gypsum. Uh oh. The one, Can you, I block the one you whacked. With my nunchuck? Nun yeah. Oh, and I think that one's going to get a hit in too. Uh oh. Oh, but that's only going to do yeah, yeah. two damage. Obviously. I can't touch this, you know. Right, right. You got the moves. You're too fast. They shouldn't even bother. And then Cavdash, this last one is going for you. Oh, but they're gonna miss. Now nah, they, this one, lunges at you with a spear, and you step to the side, dodging it completely. Now we're back to the top with Linders. Uh, do do I have the dynamite, or does somebody else have the dynamite? Who is the dynamite? Question. I don't know who took it. Oh, yeah, how many six do we have? I know I like we, we didn't trust it one with one. Sven. I oh, I grabbed it, remember? Yes, I, that's right. Well, I think if, I could, if I would have had it, I'd stuff it in the mall and just blow it up in my face now. But, you know... Well, because I don't have the dynamite, I will again shoot the one that I shot earlier. Great. From my hiding spot. Still sneaking. Alright, still sneaking. So you fire away. Yep, and that's going to hit. Nice. For six damage. That one's looking pretty hurt. You shoot it in the back this time because you're now... Now it's a little further ahead of you. Um, and it turns this time. And it knows where the arrow is coming from, though. So you might have to make a stealth check here. So let's see. Are you still hitting? I will, I will stealthily move to another boulder. Great. Yeah, looks like you, you manage. That Noel oh my is gosh, so I'm confused. such a sneaky bastard. That poor Noel. All right, Sven. I would, if possible, magic missile straight to the face. Fantastic. Let's fire some magic missile. Oh, yeah. That's going to hit. So magic missile. What does that do again? What's the damage roll on that? I forget. Do, do, do. I don't 
don't play wizards. I don't know this stuff. I keep that wizard stick on me. So three darts of magical force. Each dart hits a creature of your choice. So are you sending all three of these darts at the one at one of them, or one for each? Uh, what is the? Am I allowed to ask the HP of each creature? Uh, one looks very hurt, and the other two just look a little hurt. Two towards the most hurt, and one towards another. You got it. All right, so these three darts. Let's see what kind of damage they do here. All right, that's three. That's four. And that's one, so... You do seven damage to the most hurt one, and then one damage to one of the others. The most hurt one, though, is, like, really bad. It's It's fallen to the ground now. And it's basically just kind of dragging itself along the ground. It's real close. Oh, that's depressing. Yeah. Oh, we got to kill that guy. Otherwise, his friends are going to be pissed off. My one question is, is that the one closest to me? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, this one's actually the furthest back. Oh, fuck. Fuck! I should have killed the one closest <laughs> to me! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was going off the most hurt, which is the one in the back that Linders has been shooting. That is my own dim-witted dwarf decision. <laughs> Gypsum, though, you're up. Uh, um, uh, oh, wait, no, I'm sorry to you. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like both of us have had a concussion. <laughs> um, I got a little... I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> I'm going to bum rush this uh, injured one, take advantage of the situation, and just punch him. Just straight punch him because I'm unarmed. Um, yeah. yeah. I love it. He's prone. You have uh, advantage here, so why not? Let's see. Yeah, you strike him. Tell me tell me how you mercy kill this thing. Uh, we got to chop that thing in the neck. I feel like karate chop right in the neck. Karate chop, all right. Yeah, you strike true with your karate chop. Right into its neck, and it, you just hear a <laughs> as the thing, the thing's neck snaps. Yoink. Yeah. And that thing's down for the count. That's it. That's it for that, Noel. All right. Cavdash, Bye. you're up. You still have two uh, around you guys here. Mm, okay. Um, they're, they're pretty pissed that their buddy's dead now. They're. they're yeah, I, I'm going to short bow. Short bow the one nearest me. Or nearest. I'm, I'll show up the one that's nearest to Sven. Okay. Fire away. Oh, you're gonna miss wide. Oof. And then these two gnolls are gonna try to bite you guys now. <gasps> so uh -oh. one's going for you, Gypsum, for killing their buddy. Uh oh. I get my hands ready. You know. Ooh, if that's... it charges me, I'm about to jump out of the way. All right, let's see. You have something that'll let you dodge here. Let's see. I got strong unarmored defense. I think that's pretty good defense. Walking the battle just in a cape. Why not? All right, let's see. Let's see if we can get through your defense here. Now you're able to dodge out of the way as it lunges at you with its mighty jaw ha. and snaps its teeth shut. You can smell yes. its rancid breath. Ew. Yeah, these, these things are gross. Oh, that cave things. beef. Ugh, <laughs> cave disgusting. Beef. Mm. All right, now this other one is going to try to get you, Cav Dash. It's going to try to bite you. Oh, man, it's going to miss, too. Nice. They're stupid, stinky little fuckers. Yeah, they're just way stupid. And we're back to the top. Blinders, you're still hidden. I will shoot. I'm, yeah, I'm still going to hide, be, be the coward I am, and shoot at um, the one closest to me. Okay, 
Great. So let's see. Oh no! This is a critical failure. Oh no. Oh. As you draw your bowstring back, you. Actually, before I do this, let me see, check your character sheet to make sure you're not totally screwed here if I do that. Yeah, as you draw your bowstring back, you hear a bling! It's broke. No! Your bow is out of commission. It's what I say about hiding in the shadows. You never know how long you'll last. <laughs> uh, let's see. Sven, you're up. I would like to quickly assess who in my party is closest to danger and shoot a magic bolt at the little furry bastard charging at them. Gypsum is the most in danger for having oh, no. killed one of them. I would like to back Gypsum and attack them with furious vengeance. The Knoll, not Gypsum, with a, <laughs> if I'm able to, another magic missile, otherwise just a firebolt. Yes, you have, uh, yeah, I'll let you do the one magic missile. We'll see. I do, I do believe my mana might be spent, but yeah, you know, you, I've got a I little think you spent your spell things. slots on magic missile, actually, because you remember you used one in the yes to the signal as a signal flare my drunk dwarf brain should have used a fire <laughs> but you can firebolt here Firebolt hey. is still perfectly good i would like to shoot one good good let's see all right yeah every time i say no i always think of the, the host from from Bake Off. Great British Bake Off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love Noel. Okay, now I've got a brain worm and I will not not think of that. <laughs> Telling weird jokes in the dark. Oh, I'm Wait, out of character. Really... Fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> You've broken the illusion. <laughs> All right. Who is that little bastard? There's a ghost in here. <laughs> <laughs> you you hurl your fire your firebolt at uh the knoll closest to gypsum uh and you strike true and so you're gonna roll for some fire damage here uh, okay many many thanks and I'm sorry for uh dissing your sticky beard hey yeah, <laughs> many people have made fun of my stinky locks. So but you, I love them. You do four damage to the knoll. Not knoll, the man, knoll, the creature. And he ignites, actually. His, his, some of his <laughs> fabric clothing catches on fire, and he starts to, like, yip as he spins around, hope, trying to put it out. Um, well, I'll watch him dance, the little bastard. Uh, Gypsum, you're up. All right, um, let's see. Now that he's here, I think I will, I'm, I wanna sneak around him, put some, put him between me and uh, me and Sven, and then I wanna nunchaku. So perhaps jump over him, okay. if need be. Uh, perhaps you... parkour off a stalactite. Oh, I like that. Okay, yeah, you, you do a sweet spin jump move off of a, uh, stalagmite and you are going to nunchuck one of these in the face, right? Nice, yeah. Alright. Oh yeah. That's going to hit for six damage. Oh, and it's looking real hurt. Uh, did you hit the one on fire or the one not on fire? Oh, it's got the one on fire. Hit it while it's down. Yeah, why not? You know? So it's looking Love real hard. It's still on fire. <laughs> um, Cav Dash, you're up. Uh, so you've got I'm going to... one on fire and one that was... The one that is on fire is not the one that was trying to bite you. So those are, that's a different one. All right. Uh, I'm going to do Produce Flame and get the other one who's not on fire. So then we have two fire gnolls. Nice. You guys are just having a feast of roasted monsters. 
<laughs> I am getting a little bit hungry now. It smells. <laughs> you think you smells, might need a hyena? Smells uh, quite scrumptious. Let's see. Produce I usually keep fun. salt in my pouch. Perhaps I could help you season please, it. Please, please, yes, I do believe I will be eating some of these little bastards. All right, so yeah, you just cast the flame. Looks like you don't have to roll for that. And then make a ranged spell attack here to see if you can move the flame into the hyena. Yeah, looks like it works. So yeah, the other the other uh, null ignites. Uh, it's going to take 1d8 yeah. fire damage. Nice. Yeah, so now you have two hyenas. Or they keep calling them hyenas. Two gnolls on fire trying How did to. How you forget? Just think about gnoll from Great British Bake Off. Right. Gnoll. <laughs> <laughs> and they're both on fire. They're both on fire. Cavdash has prepared cupcakes for his party. <laughs> They are smoked cupcakes. I do believe the judges will enjoy them. Sven's prepared a mint chocolate cake <laughs> dedicated with to his mum. With a nice julep to finish. <laughs> Alright, so now these two gnolls are up. They're gonna, both going to try to put themselves out here. They, they would. Alright, one does not do it. And one is able to put themselves up. Uh, so the one you just ignited, Cavdash, is able to like pat the flames out before they get too big. Uh, okay. But now we're back to the top at Linders. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and... Do I get more damage if the dice is like a D8? Possibly. Your bow is broken. You must jump in quick now, yeah, you so, little yeah, shadow. Yeah, so I'm going to jump in yeah. with my rapier. Mm -hmm. Rapier is that what it's how, how do you pronounce it? Rapier. Rapier. Ra rapier. With the rapier. Right. I'm jump rapier. out and charge the closest null. Excellent. It. So this one has just put itself out, uh, and you leap out with your rapier and you lunge with the pointed tip, and. You hit four. She's cut the little roasty one. You hit four. Uh, ooh, wow. Eight plus four damage. Wow, you, you strike ooh. it for 12 damage. Tell me how it goes down. That thing's... That, that, I strike it right between the eyes. That is... That is yeah. That is. I can't believe I just watched her eat it while she hit it. <laughs> Yeah, the rapier goes right right through its skull between the eyes, and it just sort of like slides down the blade towards you as it dies. <laughs> and then That's the head falls off. roast knoll on the board. Yeah. And I can hold the head like a torch. There you go. Yes. My, it's Gruesome, my, it's my cool. trophy. My I do trophy. like this union member style. Sven, you're up, and there's one more knoll who's looking pretty hurt. He's still on fire. I do believe my mana is tapped. I'd like to ready my crossbow and put a bolt between its eyes. Okay, you can cast f like firebolt and stuff still. Ah, fuck it. We will throw a firebolt. All right, all right. Let's see. Firebolts. Oh, yeah. That's going to hit four. Why don't you tell me how you decimate this final null here? I jump up and I stand on a handstand and I shoot fire from betwixt my little dwarfin toes. They <laughs> roast the null in many a blast. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The toe roast. I do, I, I, I do like awesome. to uh, keep it quite limber. <laughs> yeah, as I say, this is a very, very athletic and expressive dwarf. I like that. It's almost like interpretive Six. dance. 
six feet of beard. My limbs are quite stout. <laughs> I imagine the beard is like kind of as, as you're spinning around and doing all these like cool dance moves to cast your spell. Like the beard's just whipping around. Yes. I was a uh, gold star in interpretive dance in my dwarven class, I must say. <laughs> There's so much about dwarves, I don't know. I know. Like, I'm looking they, forward to getting to know you they better. They don't get grades or scores, they get stars. They get rated by stars. <laughs> Everything is precious metals to us. <laughs> well, the gnolls go down, um, and that's that's it. Suspending combat there. So. Yes. Yay. Victory! Good job, everybody. I must say, how many of them can we eat? Uh, I, you, <laughs> I feel yeah, a little... Morally, uh, if they are humanoid, is it yeah. cannibalism? Yeah, I feel a little uh, more weird about eating them that wear clothing. That. You know, that's kind of a yeah. thing. I'd like to take an ethics check if I could eat them. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to <laughs> detect for prions in their brains. <laughs> <laughs> if I can't eat them, I will, I, I will not be mad. I mean, I'll let you eat. I guess them. you can. Yeah, I'm not going to stop anybody <laughs> from anything. They just might. I would like to sample a. I would like to sample a small morsel of their bird flesh. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you you grab a small piece, just enough so you can really get the taste. It's much greasier than you were expecting. It is a fine morsel. And it tastes much sweeter than you were thinking as well. So it's sweet, oh greasy, but also a little stringy. You can feel some of it sticking between your teeth. You don't believe I should want to eat that again? Well. <laughs> we may have, <laughs> we have solved we have started the problem. Let's, let's, go, let's go collect our dew. Should we um, bring the body back? I have the head on my rapier. Yeah, I will bring that back with me. Oh, <laughs> well, we might human. want to... Now that I've had a small taste, we might want to bring all three gnolls back. I, you know, I just... Uh, addicted I, I addicted to gnoll. <laughs> <laughs> we prayed I'm not there. saying any... No, I... We might just need them, you know, to, to prove a point. You know, no big deal. Then well, you have to carry them back all yourself. I yeah, would I like to carry, carry as many of the gnolls the as I could minor. back on my own. Who's the, who's the strongest? Who can, who can carry the, the minor? Uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty hefty myself. Wait, Gypsum we're bringing the strong. minor back? We should bring all of the gnolls and put them in my camp. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> I think we would rather uh, bury the minor, right? If we bury yes. him, we can bring more gnolls back. But, but should we, should we yes, bury we'll him to come in, back in, for in the cave, or should we give the miner back to his family to be buried? With, that, with the, Yeah, with I think family. we should bring him back out of the cave and then let the foreman decide what to do with the body. Might be best if we eat the miner. Oh, wait, I'm just, just kidding. Just <laughs> kidding. Spitballing. Um. <laughs> okay. All right, so um, sh shall we... I can help... Uh, carry the miner on my back, piggyback style. If you guys want to help me arrange him, okay. Um, I have some there. rope so I can like tie him to you. Yes, okay. like a pack mule. I love it. I can shoot a magic missile at his body to just make it disappear completely. <laughs> It'll be much lighter. Than that. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe when his family needs cremation, we can we can use that resource. I, I believe uh, they they do closed casket funerals in this encampment. That's right. I should know that. I'm a monk. I'm uh, ill. And to the monk, I I, I believe if you were uh, devout, we would do a sky burial where I could just eat them here. <laughs> <laughs> A good old ground burial. <laughs> hey. Cave burial. I, I am not one for semantics. I, I am quite hungry all the time. <laughs> all right. Well. So shall we shall we walk back? Yeah. With you this, can take uh, some of the back. Minor, it's quite heavy. Well, on the way back, we'll catch yes. back. You can bring a little snack for the trip. 
I well, would just like a to leg bring or just two. A, just, I would like to bring just a little knoll meat home with me. All right, you get a little uh, meat enough that you can make a nice hunk of jerky or something. Oh, I will savor this jerky. <laughs> All right, so you're carrying back the body of the miner you found. Um, yeah, you guys are you, you were able to navigate your way back okay. Um, you have a little bit of trouble at the glowworm pool uh, ah. trying to get the body across, oh. but uh oh, I'm sure you manage. Yeah, you manage. It's fine. <laughs> Do I have enough time to dip my toesies in the pool for a little, you know, nice? Uh, Exalting bath. Yes. Yeah, you you can dip your oh. toesies in there on just the edge. I feel so revitalized. Thank you. It's it's quite warm, but for you it's a pleasant warmth. Ha! I point and laugh at everyone because they are not able to dip their toesies in the pool. <laughs> they just don't have, you know, the the toe constitution that you have. Those are some gnarled toesies. I hope they can take <laughs> Uh, just a little exfoliation off. <laughs> They're disgusting. Don't bother yourself. Soon, <laughs> soon the darkness of the cave gives way to the light. Um, and you've returned to the mining camp. Uh, waiting for you out there is Crumble. He's like, oh! oh. We... We uh, we heard from the miner you you let out, and looks like you found the other one. Yes, we weren't as lucky with this one, but at least we found the body. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's a shame, poor Yolf. We'll be sure to bury him proper. I'm very sorry for your loss. If you need a little a little prayer to the Moon Mother, I can help you out. I just want coin. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Ingvar, he hears the you guys chattering. And he comes up and he's, he's like, "So, what was in there?" So just thinking, little uh, fuckers. Well. I will say, <laughs> kill them all. <laughs> I ate a few. We didn't kill enough of the bats, though. There's still lots of little bats, and then we killed the big bats. And there was lots of stock dice, so watch out. Uh, and uh, also some pretty vicious gnolls. Uh, we killed three of them. And yes, gnolls. Uh, Those are the spooky are eyes you saw. <gasps> well, that's troubling to hear about the gnolls. The bats sound about right. They come about every so often. And when we're not working in there, they like to try to make their homes inside, but the gnolls, that's troubling. We'll have to keep well, better watch. If you find more of them, let me know, because, you know, fuck, they taste real good. Do they? <laughs> You're goddamn right. Oh, I'd eat them every day if I could. You could start a farm. I don't know how ethical it would be. <laughs> if a gnoll farm... No farms are at the Colin Dwarf lands. Let me tell you that. Uh, we, we roast them all the time. Honey mustard, little brown sugar. Dude, fuck. Ooh, delicious. <laughs> so can I get Hello, my gold? Sir, have we satisfied your uh, your request of our oh, gold? Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. And he hands you each a bag of gold. Yay. Well, what's next? Are we free from this union uh, hell? <laughs> well, you've done you all have we at least need. six need more movies, the guild, I guess. <laughs> well, shall we? Shall we track? I'm. I'm uh, all in. Please leave us a five star review. <laughs> <laughs> well, he they uh, they invite <laughs> you to stay the night in the camp since you spent most of the day. It's there, very there. kind of them. I feel very privileged to have a, a week's rest. You can dry your knoll meat tonight. <laughs> yeah, <they're> dry? <laughs> I'm eating it raw now, like sashimi. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, no. We're not. Maybe we find some different friends uh, in the campsite other than the strange dwarf man. And... 
I helped you drink. multiple times all through the night. You may judge me, but I did hold me weight. <laughs> it is true. Yeah, so drinks are had in, in the camp. There's like a kind of a barbecue going on. Everyone's happy that work can resume tomorrow. And the, the dwarf chucks a good old slab of meat on the barbie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would not thing. waste that meat on the barbie. I eat it raw. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> blood in the beard. <laughs> blood in the beard. Blood in my beer. That's how I like it. We learn a lot about dwarves this trip. To yeah, to our, uh, lexicon. Well, I would say y'all are uncivilized if you did not know that beforehand. So judge me how you will. This man is very spicy. <laughs> uh, Ingvar, he takes the null head from you, Linders, if that's all right, and he puts it on a pike out in front of the mine entrance. Sven would like to uh, attempt yeah. to take that to put in his pocket to eat later. Do you want to try to steal the null head? Yes. All right. Tasty let's, morsels. Let's see. Let's let's make a, a, a theory. Well, a man. Yeah. Are you able to steal a null head? No, didn't think I'd be rolling for that. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be a sleight of hand check. No, you get caught. <laughs> but you know, nothing happens because it's not a big deal. <laughs> like, not oh, able to take the head. <laughs> this guy is a fucking weirdo. Just fucking keep moving. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, and as the uh, as the festivities, you know, come to a head, that's that's the end of the day, end of your first adventure wow. as a Great heroes job, guild team. Of heroes guild member. I think we should put wanted posters for a new team member who is not addicted to null meat. <laughs> <laughs> or you should yeah, have must, the must like null meat. <laughs> yeah, whoever. <laughs> Whoever doesn't like no meat can't be trusted. All right. That was fun, guys. Yeah, cool. some good Thank you guys for joining us. Sketches on here, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. We got to save this little, this little drawing. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Can we see, okay. like, all of it in some of the other layers or whatever? Um, I How have to we... click on and off, but yeah, sure. I think most of my layers are on. So that's my one layer with my on fire knoll knoll. <laughs> the guy eating the meat. <laughs> Amazing. Nice. This is one meat leg. Mm -hmm. oh, I yeah. like the meat leg. Let me move it for you. Uh, I just had the one layer. That's Cav Dash with fire in her hand. <laughs> Cav Dash thinking. It's the woman we found under the stone. Oh, love her. I like the skull. Is that the remains of your uh, your terror? <laughs> well, I also found out my problem was the uh, I had two windows open and I was drawing in the other window. <laughs> uh... Oh! <laughs> and I, I closed that window and I found the other layer. Uh, I did wonder because I saw like two of your yeah um, your name in here, so I was like, huh. So that 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 was. Uh... That was all my fault. <laughs> and then here's yeah, my was... other drawing of Cat of Cat Dash early on. Amazing. Yeah, I, like I love that. that one. Yeah, it's good. Thanks. So cute. Bat. <laughs> I can remember what bats look <laughs> like. I reverted the sh shitty East Ender England uh, ac accent for my dwarf. <laughs> I, it was appreciated uh, the most in character. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could not get in character. I can only do a horrible British accent when I'm watching Great British Bake Off. <laughs> are we still live or are you just talking? Yeah, we're live. Hi, friends. Hello, everybody. Sorry, we're just hanging out now. Yeah. So we'll uh, we'll try to we'll make sure we export some of these layers and we'll, we'll yeah. throw them up on Instagram.
Uh, so make sure you follow our Instagram if you're not already, and then you can see everything that came from the session. Mm. And yeah, hopefully we'll do this again soon. Are we going to continue with the same party and add more people to it? I don't know. We can. We we haven't actually discussed past like this first one because we wanted to see how it went. But um, yeah, we could definitely talk about like how we want to keep going with this because it was fun. Like it's nice this to be was, able to draw and play. This was so much fun. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, thanks everybody. We'll say goodbye. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks Thank so much for you. Joining us. Thank you guys for tuning in. This was amazing. Yeah.